Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We're jumping in again. Unfortunately, our streak is being a little reset. We're going to try and keep it going. Um, we've got Tainted Isaac though. Hello. Hello, Tainted Isaac. Tainted Isaac could be a rather interesting one. He's a character I think I quite like. I, I'm still not super decided on, on like how good I think he is. I think he's kind of like just okay because I've had some just absolutely amazing runs but i've also had some really really not so okay runs with him too it kind of depends because like is, is that one of those weird things it's like eight items it is so much but it's also so little anyways let's see what our first item ends up being oh and we get monstrous lung to start that is awesome i love monstrous lung let's destroy this little eternal fly here Get out of here. Whoa, this thing's fast. Get out of here. Yeah, Monstro's Lung, my beloved. It's an item that I, I truly, truly love. So I'm, I'm very happy to have it so early on. And it should hopefully help define our entire run here. Um. Oh, God. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. It's okay. Oh, oh that was all. That, the fact that there was webbing there just made that horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's also the troll bombs just kind of stick to you sometimes. But I was like, it's going to be okay. We got a rainbow heart. Then I realized we had two soul hearts. We just lost a full soul heart for that, which is a little depressing. We did just get a key, though, which honestly, I've not been doing great with keys recently. So I'm super happy to see that so early on. We don't have any curses this floor either. Um, I might... Oh God, I just want to say I might go to the um, alt floors if I get an additional key. And I did. I didn't actually check what boss it suggested we go for. It says the lamb. Uh, we could go dark room. I'm, I'm pretty happy with a dark room run. Okay, we'll ha try and keep the soul heart alive. We do have Pinneth here. Ooh, it's eternal pin. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. We will get an eternal heart for killing this guy. But, as you can clearly see, he ain't easy. Wow, okay. That's fun. Oh, I took the wrong bloody one. God damn it. Do you know what? Larger tier size isn't a bad thing, but yeah, not really what I wanted <laughs> out of the two there. Yeah, um, eternal bosses, pretty pretty cool. Getting an eternal boss early on is a bit scary, but I'm actually happy to see it. Uh, getting the eternal heart for it is good. I think the, that might end up proving to be a little strong. That's a setting we can tweak if we need to, though. Oh, also, our guy looks cracked out of his mind right now. Um, I'll see how that goes. I think considering the difficulty of them, um, it makes sense. On some runs, we are going to destroy them no matter what. So, yeah, it's just kind of like, we'll see how that goes. Okay, can you stop firing the corn fly at me, please? Also, attack flies being faster just scares me. Just scares me. But yeah, I kind of forgot we were tainted Isaac for a moment there when we got Tropica Maya. Um... Um, ooh, okay. I was like, what the hell's going on here? There's also an eternal fatty over there. Yeah, I was really confused at what was going on there. Then I realized there's a bunch of buttons we can go for. Oh, no. Oh. We did lose half a heart there. It's okay. I think it was kind of worth it to not have to fight that room the way that uh, I was about to fight it. Especially with an eternal enemy too. Do y'all thang. Do y'all thang. Baby, do y'all thang. <laughs> That's an interesting room. I, like, it'd be nice if there was some extra stuff to do while you're being delayed, but otherwise kind of interesting. We've got a champion dude here. He is dead. I think with Monstro's Lung, we're going to be pretty set for killing things pretty instantly. And I, I, like I said as well, I know I'm not going to keep Tropica Maya, but having it is actually really nice just early on. Oh, God. Um, Just so we can get... Do you know what? I'll try and get my Devil Deal first here. It's probably a better idea. Because uh, I am going to go Devil Deals this run, I think, as long as I don't get hit in this fight too much. Ooh, we've got some red poops in here. That could be a little tricky, especially if he whips me around, which he's about to do. Okay. Oh, you bastard. Don't. Don't take away my Devil Deal. Don't take me away from my ingredients. Honestly, no one will understand that reference. But I enjoyed it, so it's fine. Anyways, I haven't done Question of the Day today. Um, question of the day today is, what is the most, like, what, I was going to ask, what's the highest you've ever been? But that doesn't really come off right. What I mean is, like, 
have you ever been to like the the doctors or the hospital and they've put you on stuff that's like crazy strong like it i know that not everyone's going to be able to relate to that and asking what's the highest you've ever been probably isn't the right way to ask that question <laughs> but um yeah like i i once got put on um i once got put on codeine which isn't particularly strong in the grand scheme of things Honestly, I'll take the HP as well. It isn't particularly strong in the grand scheme of things. Um, there is definitely a lot. Ooh, we got some good stuff here. Um, I definitely want... Is it this one? Uh, yeah. Guarantees a curse every floor, but gives us a huge damage up. Definitely. Also, Devil's Box is... Actually... Devil's Box could kill us. But... I'm a gambler, so I'll take it. Um, I'm not going to use it yet, though. I need a soul heart before I use it. Uh, but yes, um, we get a massive damage upgrade here. Yeah, I I, I was once in hospital and got put on um, codeine, which I know isn't in the grand scheme of things isn't very strong. It's not like morphine or anything like that. But um, it it messed me up. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I didn't feel, like, really high or anything, which is why I knew it wasn't super, super strong. But, I tell you, I never really truly understood addiction until they put me on that stuff. I was like, whoa, I need this in my system all the time. Because <laughs> I could, I, they, they were only allowed to give me a limited amount of it, specifically because it is an addictive um, thing. You can only give me, like, one course of it. Uh, but yeah, like I was in like I was in hospital because I had like really bad uh, like stomach pains that I didn't understand. Oh, proptosis as well. Proptosis might not be great. No, do you know what? It's great. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna stand close as all. But yeah, um, it was kind of one of those things where I had this stomach pain that I just couldn't. No one could understand what it was. I never. It never even got diagnosed. Never even found out what it was. Um, but it was bothering me for a really long time. So I went to doctors and they put me on codeine while I was in the hospital for a few days. And I was like, damn, this is like just completely removed any semblance of any pain that I had. I want this feeling literally all of the time. I never want this to stop. <laughs> and, um, and like, I remember as well. Ooh, hello. Uh, oh God, that's, that, this might, this might do some damage to us. Yeah. Yeah. I was feeling that. I should have just tried to stand... Uh, further up top, because they, these guys are going to get pulled towards the bottom of the screen. Um, but yes, uh, there was like a, a good like few hour period where the effects weren't active. Hmm. I don't think Bob's brain is probably the best choice, so I'm going to take random again. And we got Vegemite, which is terrible. We also got Candle Kit here, which is fine. I don't know why I automatically picked it up out of that Eternal Chest. That's, that also wasn't my intention. That's pretty nice, though. I'll take that. A little worried on my HP right now. Wait, can, can we actually get the Soul Heart that's in here? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe is the answer to that. Although right now it'll turn into a... It'll just turn into a red health. What the hell? What is this? Have I committed sin here? I... So... I just, considering it's an angel deal and like an angel room, I'm assuming it's from the Eternal Champions mod. I am unclear on what it does though. I'm just guessing that it's a higher chance for an Eternal boss, but neither of these bosses are Eternal, so... Honestly, don't really know. That's a pretty cool, interesting room though. I like it. I'm intrigued by it. Cool. New, new, uh, new version of those rooms. Oh, I see now. I think it's just a, um, a, ch uh, a boss, a boss trap room that you can get into without the health requirements that you would normally have. Like a rare one. Because we got in there and we're not at one heart. Soul of Samson. Kind of interesting. I don't really think Soul of Samson's that great. You want to move yourself over here, sir? Wait for them to drop, drop, drop. Shop might actually be viable here if we get a key. Doing good on the bomb side of things. I'm really hoping for just more HP right now, though. There's the key. But yeah, it was it was a wacky time. I, I remember there was like a few hour period where, like I said, the it wasn't activated. Like the, the drug wasn't taking effect and it, they were agony. I was like, dude... Give me some more of that shit right now. <laughs> I'd be like up and down pacing the ward. And bear in mind there was like other people there. They all hated me. 
I just I, I just be like up and down pacing all of the time. Um, and yeah, they, they were not a fan of me. Uh, what else am I looking for on this floor? I'm basically at the minute, I'm just kind of just trying to look for a, a good way to use the devil's box, but I don't really know the best way to do that. Um, I suppose... What else is in this room over here? Because I could maybe use the, the white fire to travel over here and get the stuff. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I'll maybe use Devil's Box on the next floor if I don't get hit. Right. So I think we do... We grab that. Hello, sir. Do you know what? I'm going to bomb you because I might get a soul heart along with it. I didn't. But happy days. I'm going here. Hive mind and... Okay. So we, we definitely want the soul heart. I will take hive mind despite it being currently useless. I think it's got potential. And we've got all the stuff we definitely want to trade away prior. Right, so let's go in here. We can also go to our cash room as well if we'd like, which I kind of do. Pop in here real quick. Grab that. And we are back to normal Isaac. I was hoping it'd be a combat room so we could become back to normal Isaac. Secret room is almost definitely here. And indeed it is. Missing poster? No, thank you. I do not need to become the, the lost must boy. Uh, second secret room is probably to the left of this room, right? Probably here. Give that a go. There you go. Bunch of red hearts. Unfortunately, not very good for us. Ooh, actually. No, I, I'm going to save Devil's Box because I don't know if it hurts soul hearts or just red health. I'm going to imagine it hurts soul hearts. He, he jumped over my entire barrage of shots there. My god, the damage that we've got right now is pretty saucy. Really hard to hit the tail. You can do it. I've seen it done. But I'm just not very good at it. Okay, good. We definitely need some fire rate if we can get a hold of it. Gold Flakes is pretty good. Um, we can just trade that for the HP for now. Is there a trinket? I don't know. No, I, th I think we'd just rather keep what we've got out, shouldn't we? I'll right, take Gold Flakes. It might even give us a golden trinket. Give us a golden battery. Not really that good for us. And I think we're just going to go down. We'll see what health we're on. I think we're on three hearts, one soul heart. Three hearts, two soul hearts. We got it. Okay. Unfortunately, I did take this on a floor that's pretty stupid. Also, I'm really not sure what we've got here because this was supposed to be two devil items and I'm almost certain that's scapula, which is definitely isn't a devil item. Okay, so these two are definitely books, which I think this one's Necronomicon. I don't know what this one is. I'm going to take it. Book up a Lyle's pretty good and the other is some sort of bomb upgrade. Um, Bomber Boy. That's not a devil deal item in any way, shape or form. I thought it was meant to be a devil deal item. Okay. I mean, I'm still pretty happy with what I got. Book of Belial's pretty decent. It didn't cost us anything, apart from the one HP that I did. But getting Bomber Boy wasn't the greatest, I'll admit. Yeah, I, they definitely weren't devil items. I'm not sure what's, what's the deal with that. Probably will end up trading Bomber Boy away. But I think I think Tropic Amaya's definitely next up on the list. As much as I did say that I like the... Uh, I like the tier size up. That was just me trying to make me feel, make myself feel better about getting a bad item. <laughs> it's actually pretty useless. I was trying to find some solace in the fact that I made a mistake. Can you, like, bloody come back over here, you butthole-looking spider boy? Thank you. Some more money. We're going to have a lot of money coming our way as well, just because we have, um... Oh, God, that was a stupid hit. Uh, a lot of money coming our way just because we have so many golden hearts. As soon as they, like, become expired via whatever reason, they're going to be a nice chunk of change for us. Honestly, the, the candles are really nice here. We've got plenty of keys, so I'm just going to 
pop in here. We got Champion Bell, Bad Options, Coupon, and Buddy in a Box, I think. And that's what we got going on here. This will probably blow up the thingy machine, won't it? Nope, I did it. It wasn't worth doing, but I did it. Nah, I'm just going to take the Soul Heart. I'm just seeing if I can get the money for it. I'll also pop this pill. Shot speed, range down. Honestly, I think shot speed is better than range with Proptosis. I'm not sure. The range isn't hugely important anyways. We have to get very close. We've got Monstro's Lung Proptosis. We have to get very close anyways. It doesn't hugely matter. But yes, I'm having a I'm having a good time today. Good old time. I think I was speaking about in the last episode or episode before about my ridiculous overdose in caffeine recently. I'm um I'm taking a cleanse from caffeine now because of that. And I'm feeling I'm feeling good. Okay, we got the finger and mini mush, I think. <coughs> um I think mini mush is probably better for us here. Thank you speed and then obviously the range as well whether it helps or not it's nice to have we got analog stick or bob's rotten head analog stick i think is better for us here than bomber boy just because analog stick is a tears up oh that's the, just the most pathetic tears up you've ever seen in your life come on game it's a bit rude it's a bit rude indeed god damn it takes me ages just to destroy these poops i was hoping for a bit more than that you like a cancer trinket or something to up my fire rate. Because that gives us like a flat one fire rate. Up. Don't know why I stood so close to a guy that I knew was going to explode, but it gave us money. Not all bad. There you go. That's a lot of bombs, baby. That's a lot of bombs. Bop, 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 bop. See, even at that range. Even with Proptosis, we're still killing stuff. Damn it. Just didn't charge it long enough. Grab that as well. Do now need some red health. Uh, I've been saving my Book of Belial for unknown reasons right now. I guess it's good that I have it for the boss, but I've like... I could have used it like three times this floor and been absolutely fine. Oh god, this, this room's a bit saucy. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of Nugget Boys hopping about. I love the fact that with Monstro's Lung, we can, like, one-shot both the enemy and the enemies it spawns. Pretty beautiful. Ooh, another bomb. God damn, we are absolutely drowning in bombs right now. <laughs> Easy three-shot. Okay. Well, for one, that isn't flipping for some reason, even though it should be, which I'm a bit confused about. But I don't know what that is. Why isn't that flipping? Um, I'll take away the candles, they're good, but like, white rose. Okay, something's maybe broken with white rose, because that for some reason wasn't flipping when it should have been. We'll check in here. We got the nail is kind of good with some sort of orb there. I'm not sure what that is. Then we've got, I think that's money equals power. And I think, I think the second one is... Fettered, fettered shots, which I think fettered shots would be pretty good. Yeah, fettered heart. Um, gonna get rid of this. I know that hive mind is good. No, do you know what? I, I'll, I'll keep hive mind just in case. It's an it's an enabler, and we'll make our way down. That was a little risky. I'm glad. I'm de definitely getting better at seeing what the outlines are, even with the um, the resprited items that were that, from the mods. I was kind of worried that the resprites would make that care sp specifically really hard to uh, really hard to tell, but I'm getting better at understanding them. I don't, yeah, I don't know why White Rose wouldn't flip there. That was potentially something wrong with the item. I don't know. Tears down, really? That's so bad. We just got a tears up though. That's the opposite of what I wanted. You gave me a tears down when I specifically asked you not to. Yeah, let's try and use this a little more. God damn. Fettered Heart was a good call. Just It just like wiped the entire room when I killed that dude. Because we're hitting him with so much damage. 
Okay, we do need red health. Oh, that's over a gap. I can't get that game. That's just rude. Obviously, not every enemy is going to be fettered. Not every room is even going to have a fettered enemy. But when we can make it work... Also, I should have picked up that heart. But, ooh, this guy's an eternal champion. Whoa, those herming shots are crazy. Those homing shots were nuts. Yeah, I do need to realize that um, the champ the eternal champions of, of bosses that I have re-sprites for don't show up as eternal champions, which is a bit scary. Because I need to realize that they're a larger size than they normally are pretty fucking quickly. Otherwise, their attack patterns are going to get me. But also, I don't want to uninstall the unique sins mod because it is really good. I feel like this is a room that I have to, like, try and get a few cards or black hearts out of. That's a black heart. We've also got a sun card here, which I'll just pop. Hermit. Pop the moon card here. Unfortunate. Did give us some uh, extra devil deal chance, though, but not exactly killing it with that. We do have a bomb beggar over here, and we have a hell of a lot of bombs. Although, would we really want to trade any of our items for a bomb beggar item? Like, there's not many bomb items, even with the amount we have that I think I'd want. Thank you for the penny. I oh, got that. Insta-killed you. You got for us. So... Plus five bombs. I think this, we just want to take this for the soul heart and drop it. It's not that, not that crazy of an idea. Yeah, unfortunately, we're getting a few items that don't matter that much. But it's not exactly as if I'm in need of items. Our build is pretty good right now. We're going to continue on. Like, even without our build itself, we have... A very, very, very good chance to get bombs from picking up coins. We have kind of an unlimited supply. And that itself can kill quite a lot of bosses. And as I was saying in one of the previous episodes as well, we are playing with the bosses that got boss armor now. Um, and bo uh, bombs are going to bypass that boss armor, so. I think Monstro 2 is one of those bosses too, so. So we'll see that maybe this won't quite insta-kill as it has been with some of the other guys. Oh no, doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, Super Bandage or PJs is, is like a pretty easy choice here. I'm just going to take PJs because it's more health. Another Devil Deal. We got Red Crown. Red Crown's kind of an interesting one. Um, We also got Little Horn as well. Uh, do, 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 do. I think I'm going to go... Hmm. Let's just go with Red Crown and we'll swap it for a uh, thingy. Yeah. I want to take Little Horn as well, but I think just Red Crown on its own is better. We've not got that many bosses remaining, so Red Crown won't get us that many items. And those items can still be not great, so it's not amazing for us, but I'm pretty happy with it. Take a sip of water. I'm drinking water now, people. Oh my god, it's crazy. You ever thought you'd see the day? Um, this guy's pretty worth playing because we're unlikely to spend this money at the shops unless we find like a crane game or something. And this guy can give us HP of which we can pick up and put straight down again. He can also give us some cards. And an eternal heart. This guy's being an absolute G right now. Okay, so yeah, pick up that. Pick that back up. Where did this come from? Oh, I'm an idiot. I, I didn't pick up the health. Honestly, Trinity Shield? Maybe you need to get gone. Nah, I don't... This is difficult. What's better? 175. 171. Analog stick is better. Okay, yeah, that was just me being a stupid. We can use this, though. Try and play this guy a bit. Boom, 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 boom. 
Hey, that's pretty good. Got potential. I think I'm happy with what I got right now, though. Maybe should I played the blood bank for like a full heal or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with where where we sit now. Look at that. Fettered hearts. So good. Is he a, this this guy could be an eternal champion. He looks huge. Yep, he is. Just use the shield. The amount of herming on those things is crazy. No! God, why am I such a ball sack of a human? I mean, we now got some more money, but I keep forgetting that I'm tainted Isaac and picking up the wrong bloody items. The fucking Lotus thing probably would have been way better for us. Heck. I'm just a fool. I'm just a fool. An absolute fool. Well, we'll take a rotten heart, though. Damn it, I don't have hive mind anymore. Oh, God. They all fetters. Oh, this guy's eternal. I am eternal. Anyone remember that TF2 Source Filmmaker video? It's amazing. I think it's called, like, Eternal Tipping. Go watch it. It's, it's quite something. It's by a guy called Anonymous, and god damn, he makes some funny Source Filmmaker videos of Team Fortress 2. If you haven't ever watched them, just go and binge them. They're, they're, they're like really childish and dumb, but they're hilarious. I remember me and my friends used to watch them all the time, and then one of one of my friends came around recently, um, which came by for a bit, and we watched back through them all. Just absolute classics. What we got here? Lots of bomb items. I don't... Also, sugar-coated pill. Remove itself upon using a pill. The pill's effect will permanently be changed to full health. Oh, it's invisible for one. That's a bit weird. I don't really know what it means by that. Um, Yeah, I, like... A lot of bomb upgrades coming our way. I will take this because it gives us a HP up. But I'm not going to keep it. That's an eternal version of you. Yeah, we're killing the Eternal guys pretty quickly for the most part here. What? You see these dodges. You see these dodges. Honestly, I'm so glad I didn't get rid of Trinity Shield. It's like serving me so well right now. It's serving me so well. Oh my god, the Fettered Heart. It's so good. When you have high damage, it just insta-kills full rooms. It's brilliant. Here's the shot. Oh, that was kind of close. Is that another bomb? That it is. Um, I will take it and just use it. I probably should have bought Steam Sale first. I don't think I need to buy Steam Sale anymore, really. One moment. Let's continue onwards. Yeah, Mama Mega's kind of like nice. We can also do Boss Rush now, which is really nice. I didn't really think about that. Also, second secret room, where are you? The fact that we can do boss rush and get an extra mark is going to be really good. Because I, I, I kind of... It's, it's easy to fall into, like... With, with, with playing this game again and, like, not having completion marks. Completely fall into, like, forgetting I need them. So, like, going from boss rush is a good idea here. What the hell is a devil statue in here? Who's making all of these heckin' closet rooms? Right, push forward. There is a boss rush opened. Of course, Mum's foot does have some boss armor, as you can clearly tell. Not a ton. We're still killing her pretty quick. We're gonna go. Oh wait! Now we can't go to our fucking red room. 
Oh wait, no, maybe no, maybe we can. Maybe we can. So let's take that. We're going dark path. Wait, now we can't go to our devil deal. Now boss rush is more important. Devil deal is secondary. Why is this one not changing? What the hell's going on with this game right now? Um One and a half back black arts. Rerolls one of your curses. Grants a curse. That sounds strong. I'm going to take that. I'm not going to use it yet. Like, I'm going to just stick with this. Okay. Boss rush time. This bloody scythe thing is the bane of my existence. <laughs> Angel is bye-bye. Are you champion? Why? Why are you guys like random champion variants? Oh, I think I've got the uh, the curse that makes things randomly champions, and for some reason it works on the turtling guys, which is strange, right? That's kind of weird. Oh, blast assist, boy. Yeah, we can keep stacking damage because of our book here. This guy has boss armor. We, we talked about this in the previous episode, but you can tell. You can just feel it. Like, there's no way a normal, normally Blastasis would be surviving one of these hits. Like, he's only just surviving them, to be fair. But still. <laughs> I love the fact that some of these bosses, I just get close enough and they just insta-die. hey -o. What are you doing, sir? Oh my lord, that was close. Just leave the leave the, the little maggots to do their thing. War? What are you good for? Death. Gurglings. Oh god. That was a really bad hit. It's okay though, you're dead too. Ooh, and a soul heart, thank you. Loki? I was just about to say he has boss armor too, but I don't think he does. Because he is dead. You never really know. Oh, this is beautiful. And we just keep stacking damage, too. Did we get a golden bomb there from somewhere, too? We, a golden heart. He's fettered. Got a battery there. Pop that again. What you got for us here, sir? Ow. Hey, we turned him on to gold, though. Okay, wait. We turned him into gold before he turned to the version that we can do damage to. Bullshit. Oh, that was close. Whoa, that was closer. Oh, I did not realize you could double brimstone. Good to know. Got you as well. Oh my god, the damage here. Hello, Cage. Wow, we're one shot in Cage. And Mega Fatty. That's pretty nuts. We unlocked the reverse card. Very cool. Ooh, Explosivo. Hi, yeah, 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 yes. Um, I will take Explosivo over the rose. Explosivo is just a lot of fun. Um, and I will be taking this as my active as well. A four room charge for half a black heart. Sounds pretty interesting. Also, rerolling curses also sounds interesting. But yeah, we can go down here still. I think this guy was eternal. He's now dead. <laughs> um, well, unfortunately, nothing amazing here. Especially for our red items. But we can... I don't know. Analog stick at this point. Like, our fire rate is nice, but fire rate plus shot speed is better, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with that because it, it, it comes with shot speed. We got uh, an immortal heart here as well. Curse of Blight. We get a guaranteed curse every floor as well. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Expl Explosivo is going to be all that good now. But when, when we get to the enemies that have boss armor. Oh, wait, it gave me a full black heart that time. It's meant, it's meant to give a half, right? That gave me the full shebang. But yeah, like on the on the bosses that have boss armor, Explosivo is going to be really good. Are you eternal? You look eternal. You most certainly are. Your head has come off. Oh my god, I keep... Because I'm used to the charge we had before and now it's slightly slower, I keep releasing just a tiny bit too early. Got you. Ow. My immortal heart is gone. Okay, now that time it gave me a half black heart. I don't know why it gave me a full one that one time. That was strange. Ooh, mega chest. <laughs> that was fair. <laughs> now we've got the mulligan. So it would have been good to stick with hive mind. I'm kind of intrigued by knockout drops as well. Metal plate's also good. Hmm. Let's just grab the metal plate for the uh, soul heart and try to take Trinity Shield. The other item. Mulligan. It's good, but just... I'm being a bit plain right now, but... Oh my god, that's a lot of... that That's why we took it. Do you know what? This is the room where this makes sense. Uh, why was I facing the wrong way then? That was very annoying. Hey, soul heart back. Thank you. Thank you, fettered heart, for saving me time. This has been a joyous run so far. A joyous run. Gather round for this joyous occasion. As we absolutely demolish Isaac. But yeah, how have people been liking the new the new sort of series? Okay, this guy. This guy has some chonky body armor. Wow, this guy has boss armor. That's chonky. We get chocolate bar and fire rate. Chocolate bar would give us HP and damage. Um, I think we just take that for the HP and damage. And then let's go down here, see what we get. Mr. Fred. Ooh, we got an eternal Mr. Fred as well. Oh, wow. That's a... Oh, my lord, Mr. Fred. I mean, you're going down very quickly, but oh, my lord. You're throwing some shenanigans at me right now. We got Red Key, which honestly is a big fat yes. I like that cursed dice thing, but Red Key though. It's Red Key, as in the key that is red. Um, let's see. Can we find our ultra secret room on this floor? I'm going to say it's here. Made a little bit of a mistake going in here, considering it ended up being not really what I wanted here. Um... I will try and play you a little bit. You don't tend to be that good on get that good to me. You've you've killed yourself. You've immediately, rather than rather than sucking my blood, taking my life force, you have decided no. For me, suicide is the option. Suicide is never the option. Didn't you learn that? Goddamn stupid schoolboy. What are you teaching in the schools at the Isaac basements? Or the womb. I don't know. It gets a bit fishy when it's... You don't really teach things to the... I mean, you kind of teach things to kids in the womb-ish. Yeah, maybe. Like, because some people, like, play, like, classical music and stuff while they're pregnant to, like, influence their child. Which I think is probably a crock of shit, to be honest. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't affect them whatsoever, but I don't think it's going to make them smarter. Um, it's probably relaxing for them, but I, I doubt it's going to make them smart. Um, but people do do that, so maybe 
you can teach them. It's not as if you can get out a whiteboard and start showing them. I'm like, I don't know. I was going to say something really gross there. I'm just not going to say it. But you can probably already imagine what I was going to say. Um, yeah. All, ooh, Eternal Boy. And that's what we do to the Eternal Fellas. Demolish them. How are you still kicking it? Beautiful. I don't know, in, in some aspects the Eternal enemies are making the game harder. They are also making it a bit easier because we're getting a lot of Eternal Hearts. I might have to turn that ability off. I did, I like I said, I put it on pretty hastily after the after the like first time that I died to it. So I was just a bit peeved. But it might be the case that we have to turn it off just because then bosses can appear anywhere. And getting, a t getting like a lot of extra eternal hearts throughout the floor is gonna be a little bit cheesy, I think. I'm not gonna play you this time. Last time you just committed suicide right in front of me. Your brother did. I'm not teaching you right down here, I tell you. Maybe it's because you're in the scarred womb. Ugh. You don't really think about how viscerally gross some of the things in Isaac are until you sort of really think about them. This floor's pretty icky. This floor's got some stank on it. It's like I was like talking to my friend recently. Ooh, cursed eye, no thank you. I was talking to my friend recently about Isaac and he was saying, oh, I don't I still don't really get what that game's about. And I was like, well. You play as a four-year-old boy, a five-year-old boy even. You play as a five-year-old boy, and your objective is to make your way to Satan. <laughs> Ow. Health up. Health up. Your objective is to make your way to uh, to Satan or yourself and kill them. <laughs> it was like, what? I was like, yeah, there's also a lot of poop. You also work your way through your mother's womb. There's, there's some really strange stuff in there. And he's like, oh, okay, now I understand. <laughs> Walk on it. Yes! <laughs> okay. Explosivo is going to take care of you somewhat. Unfortunately, my Trinity Shield is not going to save me here. At least until I get into this position. I think Explosivo will help a lot here. I'm essentially just going to face tank everything with Trinity Shield. Even still, she's taking a good beating. Ow, my immortal heart is gone. Unfortunate. We got our devil deal here. Let's check it out. Unfortunately, nothing great there. Nothing great. Quickly, maybe check another red room. Sadly, not a very good one. No red rooms for us so far. No ultra secret rooms. By the way, we can get rid of Red uh, Red King now. Just because we aren't going to be using it. We need to go down to this way. Remember that. Curse of Blight. Ooh, hello. Pretty terrible, but... All around, not super disappointed because we're going to get charges. Ooh, seeing these enemies in there is pretty cool. Easy. Got it? That is it. Yeah, I just want I just kinda wanted that to do that for the charges, and anything I got from the red chest was just kind of there as a bonus. Ooh, Eternal Fallen. Whoa, he's split into three. One thing I am noticing is the Eternal guys don't seem to have any boss armor, but then again, this might this guy might just not anyways. Good. I was like, ooh, a golden penny. Then I kind of realized, wait, what the hell do I need a golden penny for? Okay. When we got the, tr the Trinity Shield is so much better than I ever give it credit for. Like when we have the Trinity Shield, we can just walk up to these enemies and just face tank them. 
So good. Don't know about this guy. Yeah, like I guess I don't, don't think I can face tank this the dude that whips me. Oh my god, what a miss. What a whiff. Dude, stand still. Wait, he knocked my shots back at me there. Good. good. Secret room here. Room's a bit glitchy. I'm okay, thank you. Keep on moving. Ooh, this 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 room's just fun. Nothing. That's upsetting. Hello, Satan. Can he spawn Eternal Champion? Fallen. I wonder. That was a really bad decision there, wasn't it? I don't know why it's so close. I was like, it'll be an easy kill. Then I forgot that he spawned with the leeches next to him. Okay, so this, this is where boss armor starts to become, like, a real concern. Because bosses ain't no joke. What the hell happened then? Bosses ain't no joke. I don't know how, how bad the feet are going to end up being. Ow. Okay, the feet, are, the feet are pretty tough. They've got quite a lot of health. We're getting them, though. We're getting them. Okay, we got them. We lost a little more health than I'd normally see there. Ordinary life unlocked. Nice. I will try for this again. Damn it. And then we uh, probably won't be trading away any HP here. We will see. We will see. Let's have a little look. Now. Now. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We could have the lowest fire rate you've ever seen. But it would be so beautiful. I feel like I have to take Brimstone. It gave me fire rate. Okay. Okay. And then just go like. I like it. The fire is pretty bad, but I like it. They, they, they have rebirth. They are reborn. Also, we have Proptosis side damage is really bad at range. Stop rebirthing, you fools. I can't handle this. I told you I can't handle this. Dude, they're eternal. They're eternal. They're eternal. This is not fucking fair. I managed to kill some of them, but there's still spiders left. They didn't even drop eternal hearts. Bullshit. <laughs> the last few floors are brutal, and I traded away all my HP. For the meme, like, let me at least say it was kind of for the meme. Oh my god. Your boy's taking some hits here, boys. Hematemesis. Do you know what? Clutch hematemesis pill. It's not often, but... I might need to remove quad shot. <laughs> the, the fire rate is just so unbelievably low. Like, I do wreck things when I hit them. Like, mega, omega wreck them. That guy was eternal as well. I don't even know what this guy's gonna do. Okay, he's dead. That's not an eternal heart. Why don't they drop eternal hearts on this floor? The one time I was like, cool, drop an eternal heart. That's fine this time. He's like, no. Lol. 
Why? This guy, the split Loki, definitely has boss armor. This should be destroying him at that close range. This is stressful. What the? Stop. My God. I need more health. There's no way I can get through the lamb on this HP. Like, he's going to have so much boss armor. This guy's going to hit me, guaranteed. Oh, no. He didn't even fire. That was just a bad hit. Yeah, one thing I'm really not getting is why when one of them is eternal in a room do all of them have to be? That seems to be a common theme right now. Right. I don't think this is going to go so well. I don't even need to be at half heart interval while I'm doing. Do I want to drop quad shot? I don't think it's... Do you know what? I don't want to drop quad shot, but what I will do is I'll get rid of Fettered Heart for Trinity Shield. That might help. Because, like, the Fettered thing probably won't matter at all. And I think Trinity Shield probably will matter at least a bit. Scary times. I don't think we're going to be able to beat the lamb here. He's eternal as well. No. I can't do it if he's eternal. I mean, that has a lot of damage right there. Yeah, there's this homing shots coming in on me, though. There's really not much I can do to avoid those. I don't know the attack patterns. He had to be eternal, didn't he? The 20% chance. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. The, the, the eternal mod's balance is a little skewed. I feel like the early game, it may, especially if you've got the uh, eternal hearts dropping reward on, it makes the early game quite significantly easier, or at least it can, because I've not really had too bad of an interaction with any of the bosses, but the late game is brutal. Like, the last few floors are ridiculously hard. Like, by the way, I do I do completely understand the reason that the final boss is hard is because I have that boss armor mod. I actually quite like that, and that's fine. But god diggity damn. That, like, room that just took away all our health. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.